Hi friends, Krista here. Thank you so much for stopping by Books and Jams. I'm very excited about today's video. Last year in 2021, one of the highlights of my reading year was doing two different Christian nonfiction read-alongs. In May, we read Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis. And then I think it was October, we read The Pursuit of God by A.W. Tozer. Many of you joined in for those discussions and we had some live shows and a bunch of other booktubers joined me in talking about those books. And I've had a lot of requests to do more of these types of read-alongs and I'm very excited to say that we are going to do it. I think I'm going to do three again this year. So the first one is coming up very soon. And in February, we are going to be doing a read-along of the Christian nonfiction book called Celebration of Discipline by Richard J. Foster. This is a book that I have read a couple different times and I'm very excited to dive back in because it's probably been about 10 years since I've read it. But it is the subtitle is The Path to Spiritual Growth and this is just an exploration of a lot of different disciplines. How the book is divided is inward disciplines. So it talks about things like meditation, prayer, fasting, and study. And then part two is outward disciplines, simplicity, solitude, submission, and service. And then part three is corporate disciplines, confession, worship, guidance, and celebration. The point of this book is just to celebrate all of these different ways for us to deepen our walk with God. It is not a checklist or a, a mandatory list of ways to connect with God, but all of us are created so differently and some people really love nature. So going out on prayer walks and meditation time with God out in nature is going to be something that will help you feel connected to God, whereas other people really love studying and diving deep into the into the Word of God and going into like the Hebrew and Greek original words and all of that stuff like that deep study is going to appeal to other people. So I think this is just going to be a way to open our eyes to try new things. As a Christian, I believe that my walk with God is not just part of a religion, but it's a lot more personal and actually a relationship. And so this is a book that's going to allow me again to explore some of these different disciplines. And I don't know, it just I just think that it's going to be a really beneficial conversation as well. And just kind of learning about how different people connect with God. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. There will be live discussions here on my channel every Sunday in February. So the 6th, the 13th, the 20th, and the 27th at about 4 p.m. Eastern time. And I will have different booktubers joining me again for those conversations. If you have a booktube channel and you're interested in joining, I only am allowed a certain number of people on StreamYard, so I can't have everybody, but I would love to have you join in the conversation. One nice thing I've found from these conversations last year is that although we come from different denominational backgrounds and we have maybe some doctrinal differences, these conversations are not meant to highlight those differences, but to focus on the main thing, which is Jesus and what he did for us on the cross and the gospel. We're not going to get into the nitty gritty of differences. I really don't want that to be, <laughs> I don't want us to get into arguments or conversations about how we're all different, but I think this is going to be a neat way to explore our humanity and our relationship with God and how each of us in different, in different ways find that we can connect with God. Obviously keeping the main thing, the main thing, it's about Jesus and what he did and God's word. But I think the, the conversation will, will be fun. So I invite you to join along, find a copy of this book. I know during my live the other day, we found a couple different sites online where you can get a used copy of this like Second Sale and Better World Books and Thrift Books are options. I will link some of those down in the description below if you're interested in finding a used copy of this. I think you could probably find them at thrift stores as well. But this will be our read along for February and I hope that you join in. I really look forward to having this be a part of my channel again this year and I'm so thrilled that many of you enjoyed that last year. So that's going to be it for today. Short and sweet. I would love to chat with you down in the comments. Have you read this book before? Is this a new one for you? Would you like to join in the conversation? Let's chat down in the comments about this. Also, if you have ideas for other Christian nonfiction kind of classic works, I think this was originally copyrighted in 1978. Mine is the 1980s edition. So there's some revisions and expansions in this one. But yeah, if you have ideas for other books that you would like us to consider, let me know in the comments below as well. I love chatting with you down there and that's going to be it for today. I will look forward to talking with you again soon. Bye.